Yeah. Because um, you're marketing on a weekly basis more than a monthly basis, right? Mm -hmm. um, and if in and, and your uh, total KPI will be on a monthly basis, but your revenue will be on a quarterly basis, most yeah. likely because of, of sub two and the types of properties you're dealing with. So, yeah. um, you know, really paint that picture on, you know, how many records am I getting, you know, and, and how many deals are coming out of it. And that way we can say, okay, well, over the course of the year then, Mm -hmm. Right. We can see a pattern of how many is there. And if you bring back X amount of records in your in your KPI sheet, mm -hmm. right, put like, OK, this week I brought in this many new data. Obviously, just go in an REI SIF. Make sure you have that in your KPI tracker, like, OK, new inbound data, this many records. Right. So that you can start using that in your in your calculations to say, OK, this many new records equal this many uh, outbound, you know, uh, prospects equal this many dials equal this much trickle down into revenue. So what we want to be able to do is say, hey, in next quarter. Um, if everything stays true, then I'm going to do this. And, and why this is also important is because once we start having with us even more judgments now or in like a year from now than there is now, you're going to start seeing trends and patterns and be able to build predictability based off of uh, the change in the amount of records that you're getting. If one month you get end up getting 200 instead of 100, then you should realistically get you know two deals, right? Exactly. So we want to be able to have that predictability. So um, it's really important, however, with the new new right not so much going into the past mm -hmm. going into the past is good um because you're getting you know uh just more stuff to chew on yeah. but predictability for the future is only based off of what's what's new right exactly. so uh, when i'm saying that make sure you're basing off what's new the catch-up game of what happened in the past uh is a kpi and the reason why a lot of companies end up you know switching their shit and thinking things are wrong is because they have like 10,000 records that they're playing catch up on that you just like, let's just say high equity list, right? You download high equity data. Well, that's high equity for however long you call through it a bunch of times and, you know, and, and so boom, it's done. Uh, and then they have no more new people because high equity doesn't really have a ton of new people that you're talking to. Right. And they think that something's wrong there when all reality, you've just, you know, need to use a different marketing strategy or be, you're now in a long term. You, you've lost the, uh, it's kind of like, um, once you're working out and you lose your body fat, but then you got to tone up. It's like, yep. cool, well, you lost the body fat. Now the long game is getting toned and maintaining, you know, uh, the physique. So uh, the same things in our businesses. And, and a lot of people really fuck that up, especially with like niche stuff like probates and tax locancies. They call through it. They, ca they catch up the initial data set. And now it's like, okay, well, I got to bring in this weekly. And obviously compared, compared to playing catch up with like 3000 judgments first, you know, a hundred new monthly yep. is a lot different. You know, um, you're going to have a decrease in revenue, uh, but it, it should be able to be consistent. And then you add in another type of data set that you become a, just as confident in. And now those run parallel together uh, and, and you can continue to add in. And as these different systems start running really smoothly, um, you have like four or five different primary vexations that you're targeting. You're getting that new data for first to market and, uh, and, and there's very predictable um, and then when you jump into a new market, you know, you're going to have to use the same process, but you might have to adjust it a little bit because, you know, Delaware County might end up having, you know, more probates at the higher population or more judgments, the higher population, the, the higher, the, you know, the judgments. So, exactly. um, and, and that's also going to change the KPI drastically. So in addition to that, you want to make sure that those KPIs you can track on a different location. So once you get a contract, you get a deal, right. Make sure you look at it like, okay, well, which which area is performing better for me? Is it Delaware County? Cause I can get the data easier and there's more, mm -hmm. um, or is it Delaware itself? Which yeah. Weird to me. I didn't realize there was a Delaware County in Pennsylvania. So um, weird. <laughs>